Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. I'm here with my good friend uh, Brad. You may know him from Trail Recon. We're gonna do a walk around of Brad's Wrangler and his trailer setup too. So uh, Brad, how you liking this thing? I'm just kidding, he's actually right over here. So we're gonna walk over and I'm just gonna get Brad to give us a little walk around of the rig and yeah, I've known Brad for a while, but we haven't really had time to just kind of carve out to hang out and do some stuff. And we've just been hanging out at SEMA, so I figured it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys some Wrangler love on the channel because I know there's a lot of Wrangler fans out there. So, so yeah, I'll go get Brad. All right, guys, I tracked down real Brad here. Uh, he's taller than fake Brad over there. Pretty close, though. And we've been hanging out at SEMA. He's actually been putting out a bunch of content. He's been doing his, his job here at SEMA. <laughs> so if you want to watch some more coverage of stuff, check out his channel. I'll link it up, up in the corner as well. But for those that don't know, this is Brad, Trail Recon. He's kind of, kind of like the me of Tacoma, but for Jeep in a little bit of a bigger way. He's very well known in the Jeep community and off-road community in general. So if you're interested in trails, Jeeps, and other things, yeah. Working in the garage, cooking yeah. a little food, having a good time, just like you. Yeah, yeah. it's good stuff. Yeah. So, SEMA's wrapping up right now. We're actually kind of packing up, about getting ready to go. Things are winding down, so I figured we'd do a quick walk around of the Jeep, the trailer, kind of the things Brad likes, and, and yeah. If you want to see more on the Jeep, he's done tons and tons. He has several Jeeps on his channel, but a lot more information over there. Yeah, right on. Cool. All right, well, I'm gonna get behind the camera now. Okay, well, I guess first of all, Trail Recon, uh, I didn't wake up one morning and be like, I wanna go make YouTube videos. It was just accidental. My son and I were out filming and just having a good time and people started watching it. And we're like, all right, let's see if we can make better videos. And then people would ask us, what are you doing to your Jeep? And so then we started building our Jeep and talking about it. And this uh, Jeep here is our latest one. This is a 2021 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon and it is a diesel. And uh, it's been, uh, it's been a great Jeep. We've been uh, taking, it's got about 27,000 miles on it and it's not even a year old yet. So we've, uh, we've been wheeling it pretty good and towing the trailer back there and just having a good time. But I guess I can start from the front and we just work our way back. That works for Sounds me, good. man. Okay, so I, I am running the stock bumper. This is not an aftermarket bumper. The only thing I've done is taken off the ends to give a little bit of tire clearance. It's got uh, KC fog lights in here. These are an amber fog light, which I really like. And yeah, then, the G4s, I think, I have the same ones. Yeah, I think they're the, the G4s. And then I've got uh, two Pro 6s up here with the amber covers, and these are in a wide beam pattern. In fact, all my lights are in a wide beam pattern because I'm not a Baja racer, so I don't need to see like a mile down the trail. I just need to see pretty close up in front of me. Yeah. Uh, it's got the worn uh, Evo VR10 winch. And uh, actually, in the, in the year that I've had this, I haven't used this not once, so it's uh, it's still pretty uh, still pretty virgin. I've honestly used my winches more for just like pulling trees out at my property right, than I yeah. have for like off-roading. <laughs> well, usually we run into somebody that's stuck and we'll just get the strap out. And usually yeah. I just haven't used this winch yet, but um, and that's it for the front. It's pretty stock up here. Uh, we Anything under the engine to talk about? Or? No, it's uh, the engine is bone stock. Um, there's there's nothing under there at all. Which How is, you been liking the diesel? Ooh, that's a tough question. Okay. So, uh, first of all, the, the diesel is great. The torque is awesome. Um, the dealing with the def fluid is a little bit of an inconvenience. Uh, that's probably the right word, an inconvenience. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, the diesel does get hot, uh, especially towing the trailer up some grades. You start to see that temperature climb, but I think we're going to figure some things out where we can help it breathe a little better, cool off a little bit better, so. Cool, yeah. cool. So yeah, that's what I've heard. Heat is kind of the main issue with the diesel yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, it, it, I mean, fuel economy is awesome. Towing the trailer with these big old tires, I'm still getting over 20 miles to the gallon. Man, so that's awesome. You can't complain too much, right? That's awesome. So Speaking of tires, what do we got here? So these are a 38-inch tire on a KMC uh, beadlock, and those are the machete uh, beadlocks, and uh, people give me a hard time because you know, they're chrome or whatever, but I, I like the polished aluminum. I think it looks good. It's, uh, Brad's a little bit of a gangster. <laughs> a little bit of a gangster. Uh, underneath is the uh, TerraFlex. It's a three and a half inch lift, and it's got their Falcon 3.3 adjustable shocks. And uh, we've got their bump stops in there, and uh, th that the kit runs 
So nice, and, I, and, I, and I'm a big fan of adjustable shocks for an overland vehicle just because you know, we're always toying with weight, especially towing the trailer. Having the ability to dial those shocks in so you get everything right on the front and the rear uh, is super important, so. Are you finding yourself adjusting them fairly often or you kind of find a setting you like or if you're like, well, I'm gonna tow, I'm gonna do a different setting yeah. or? 100%. Yeah. So on the road, I've got, you know, one setting I like. When I'm towing, I stiffen it out as much as I can in the back. And then w when we hit the trail, you know, I usually soften it up a little bit. So Awesome. Yeah. Uh, up here, another set of Pro 6s, uh, also on their KC mount. Nice. And those are the wides as well? They're also, yeah, also yep. the wide pattern as well. Uh, and and usually, usually they're angled out a little bit more. They, okay. But... Because, you know, it's really a ditch light. You don't really need it to go straight ahead. You just kind of need it to off to the side a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Uh, over on the hood over there is the antenna mount. A lot of people ask me about that. That's a diamond uh, antenna mount. And then we're running a GMRS radio inside. And so that's the 6dB antenna. But that mount is, it's really universal because it, it gives you a lot of versatility in mounting uh, different locations. I actually have it on my truck and I got it on my other Jeep. Um, nice. It's a great... Great thing. I should also mention, we just put RCV axles in here uh, to, hold, to help with the weight of the tire. So uh, those are actually we installed right before SEMA. So nice. now I have a little more, uh, little more confidence that we're not going to blow anything up. Uh, up top is the Rhino Rack Backbone System. And the great thing about this rack is there's an internal structure uh, to help support the weight. So if you want to put a rooftop tent up here and put a ton of weight up there, it's no worries. I mean, the Jeep's fiberglass hood won't support a lot of weight on its own, so you have to have some kind of internal structure and it does a great job. And then we've got some KC scene lights on the side just to kind of help with camp. And then there's some dust lights, amber cyclones on the rear, which if you've ever been in a super dusty situation, sometimes those dust lights are all you can see. So um, cool. that's it for the side. And then as far as skids, did you, have you changed anything underneath or? So I have some full aluminum belly skids that are going to go on when I get home, but right now it's just, uh, it's just stock. Perfect. And these are the factory kind of Jeep rock sliders they, as well? They are. Uh, nice. In fact, on my JK, my original Jeep, uh, I had, I ran these for about four years before I finally replaced them. They actually do a pretty good job. Yeah, so, I've heard. Yeah. I've heard the factory ones are pretty good. They're pretty good. Yep. Cool. So, Anything you want to highlight inside? Uh, yeah, we could talk about... You got trail recon seats, I see. Yeah, so these are from uh, Catskin. So it's a complete seat replacement. And the cool thing about Catskin is you can just customize the heck out of them however you want. And then they have a mobile unit that comes out and will install them for you in like okay. four hours. So you don't wow. have to do the work yourself. It just comes out. And then in here, this is where I've got my Midland radio. So this is... Uh, this is brand new, it's not actually even on the market yet. This is a 50 watt GMRS radio. Uh, okay. They're the only ones that have a 50 watt, so that's pretty cool. Uh, up, up here is uh, my iPad, which I'm usually running Gaia, and that's on a RAM mount. And then there's a 67 Designs uh, bar back here, also for my phone holder. And then uh, I've got a little mount here just for my Garmin inReach. Um, otherwise, nice. it's pretty stock inside here. Yeah. We can go to the back, and that's where some of the magic is. So I've just got, uh, for the Jeep, I've just got the little Dometic. Uh, this is the 25 liter fridge. I don't need a big fridge if it's just me. Um, and then the whole Goose Gear uh, drawer system, which allows a ton of extra storage in here. Super nice, not the most organized storage right now, but it's good. <laughs> um, and uh, the Goose Gear system's great because it gives you a whole platform and everything is modular and mounts in there. I've got CO2 and of course there's a first aid kit, which is readily accessible. Everybody needs to have a first aid kit in their vehicle. And then over here is the Outback Adventure tailgate table. And this thing is really cool because you got this bamboo table right there. Awesome table. Nice. Very cool. Yep. Nice little setup back here. Super cool setup. And then so Brad oftentimes tows a trailer behind him. Oftentimes. So, so matching so trailer. Got the red Jeep, the red trailer. Yeah, so this Looking is good. Uh, this is the Patriot Campers X1N, and this is a limited edition. They called it a Code Red edition, and this was the very first red trailer that uh, Patriot Campers ever did. And, oh, I, and I've been towing a trailer for about a year leading up to getting this trailer, and I just, the whole idea of towing a trailer off-road in the beginning was 
I don't know, I was kind of apprehensive about it, but then after doing it and now having been towing a trailer off-road for the last two years, there's so many benefits to taking that weight off your vehicle and putting it here and having more water and power and storage than you, you know, you're really gonna need, which is, it's very nice. And this trailer, dry, only weighs about 1,800 pounds, so it's super light. Uh, you, you know, you fill up that water tank, you throw in some gear there, that weight increases a little bit, but that diesel Jeep tows it, no problems. Um, it's got a full sink here, uh, hot water, and you can hook up, or it's got cold water, but you can hook up a hot water heater. There's some storage in here for some goodies, storage in here for utensils. And then we've got a bigger uh, 45 liter fridge, but I just found out that a 55 liter Dometic will fit in here, so I'm, oh, gonna, wow. I'm gonna go bigger. We're gonna put nice. a 55 in there. It has uh, 200 amp hour AGM batteries, full Red Arc Manager 30 system, um, you can you know, keep your eye on your water, 40 gallons of water. The cool thing is, is this has an air suspension on it, so you can level it out. So depending on how well it's uh, weighted out, you can adjust it from side to side. But the cool thing is, is when you pull it to camp, uh, you're not looking for that perfectly level ground. You're not throwing rocks under one tire. You can just sit here and adjust it with the air suspension and then you're, uh, you're sleeping great. That's nice. Up here is a uh, 270 degree awning which has been super nice uh, in some of these uh, hot days out in the desert. And so then, is that on a system that can ra like raises yeah. the awning up? Yeah, so okay, nice. it's on like a scissor jack system like that. Works ah, out really well. That's very nice. Yeah, it works out great. Is that, do you know, out of my own curiosity, yeah. is this a Patriot product? Or is. is this a, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's their own. I've had a lot of people ask me that. I think, yeah. I think they should probably sell that because yeah. I think there's a lot of people yeah, that would be interested should. in that for sure. Uh, in the back is just, empty storage, there's a drawer system. Uh, on the side, again, it's just more storage. And then uh, the very last one, my wife and I keep a, uh, just a little cassette toilet. I don't know if okay. I, and a privacy tent, and that's really for her. So we'll pull that out and set that up for her. She loves, you know, not having to go find yeah. a place off into the bushes. A little bit of creature comforts. Yep, there is uh, two, uh, 10 pound propane tank, so you have plenty of propane. And then up top we have a James Brood space tent. And uh, if you don't know James Brood, they have one of the best mattresses out there. I'm pretty picky about mattresses and their, t their mattress is pretty nice. Yeah, I've heard good things about yep. how comfortable they are. And then in here is what they call the man cave. And so there is a Weber grill and this thing will slide out and you can have full on barbecue and then you've got plenty of room over there. Oh, cool. So well. it's like on an arm? Kind yeah, of there's a little arm okay, cool. system. This guy whole pulls out. Oh, nice. Just like that. And then I've got a Red Arc, uh, 100 and, I think this is a 120 watt solar panel. So when we're at camp for a long time, you can plug that in and then that will uh, keep the batteries on the trailer uh, charged. Uh, big thing on off road trailers. So I tell this to everybody if you're looking for an off road trailer, there's two things that you need to look for. One is a 360 degree hitch you need to have that full articulation with an off-road trailer, and that is a great system. And the other thing you need to have is make sure that you have independent suspension. So no solid axles, no leaf springs, you need to have an independent suspension if you're really gonna take it off-road. Um, it, it just matters. That's well, it, I think. Thanks for those trailer tips and the, yeah. the quick walkthrough of the whole setup. Everything looks pretty dialed. Yeah. Brad spends a lot of time off-road on his channel. What all vehicles do you have these days? Is it, would you say this is like your main vehicle these days? I mean, I know you got the power wagon now yeah. and you've kind of been through a few I, vehicles. I think it's tough to say what my main vehicle is. I, I'm blessed to have multiple vehicles. Yeah. Uh, we, each one kind of has its own purpose. Mm -hmm. So if I'm gonna go out on long trips and my wife's gonna join me, the diesel with the trailer is great because it's the two of us, but we're gonna go do tight technical trails. It's mm -hmm. perfect because we can do that. Yep. The Ram Power Wagon is great for mm -hmm. long trips. Uh, I mean, yeah. you know, uh, full-size vehicle is so comfortable. comfortable. I mean, we, we did the Virginian back. Yep, that beautiful truck back there. <laughs> we did Virginian back, it was 5,600 miles and it was so nice. And the whole time we we're like, oh man, I'm glad we left the Jeep at home for this trip. Okay. Uh, then I have, uh, my JK, my 2015 JK, and that one is to get after. It's pretty, you know, it's dialed 39s, it's ready to go, get That's aggressive. That's more your wheeling machine. More my wheeling machine, but yeah. I still camp out of the back. You know, yeah. I still got a Dometic fridge in there, and it's got space and stuff okay. for storage. Uh, and then I just recently got, I haven't announced this on my YouTube channel, uh -oh. so you're getting this for the first time. Yeah. I hinted to it, I have a 1974 
Jeep Cherokee uh, that okay. we're going to do some vintage uh, vintage runs with here pretty awesome. soon. So I'm stoked about that. Yeah, yeah, he was talking to me about some of the accessory plans yeah. and brainstorming some ideas and stuff. So that sounds like a fun project. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm so I'm so, I love the classics, man. They're just raw. You know, no computers. You can fix just about everything on them. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Anyway, this is Brad's Wrangler trailer setup. Um, for more information, Trail Recon on both YouTube and Instagram. Yes, Any other good sources you want to talk uh, about? Trailrecon.com. Trailrecon.com. All kinds of Overland gear over there and merch and all that kind of stuff. Sweet. Yeah. Well, thanks for your time, Brad. Of course, buddy. It's been great hanging out with you this week. I'll leave links down below. Check them out more. Until next time, guys. Take care.